Ah, uh, uh, you guys thought, you guys really thought that was going to be the only video I posted this week on Harmon Smith and I was going to take it easy on a salty Sunday with these videos. Nah, nah, Gar is hungry. Gar wants to produce more content for the fam because you know what fam, y'all deserve it. Now, a lot of you are asking yourselves right now, Gar, what what, what are you cooked up for us? What, what do you got in the oven for us? What, what, what you got for us, fam, huh? What you got for us? Well, I got a bit of a rare delicacy. It's called Xbox salt. And uh, this is not going to be kid smooth or anything like that. No, no, no. I'm going to cover that this Sunday. No, this guy should be very familiar to some of you guys. And uh, I saw his video on the take about, well, what Phil Spencer is doing with Xbox. And I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, yeah, yeah, you know what? His take is so stupid that I can actually make a video out of this. And you know what? Guess what Gar decided to do? I decided to cook and oh boy, oh boy was I right to make a video on this one. Actually, let me give the proper induction to this, uh, well, fanboy. He is infamous for flip-flopping between Xbox and PlayStation and his name is Crap Gamer. Yeah, he, he names himself Crap Gamer. Like, why would you degrade yourself? But the video that we will be covering today is called Phil Spencer Just Killed Xbox Forever and He Needs to Be Fired. Fans are really mad. So right before we dive right into this content, fam, and trust me, it would be probably best wise if you, uh, you know, grab yourself something nice little drink and a nice little snack for this video because this one is, uh, this, you're, you're, you're gonna feel it. Trust me, you are going to feel it really bad because Crap Gamer over over here i don't know why he's doing content if he's not going to put effort into his fucking content but like i said the reason why i'm covering this is because some of the takes he has in this is uh it's questionable so like i always say let's just go ahead and just dive right into the content bam i honestly think phil spencer has done more damage to the xbox brand than red ring of death at this particular point no <laughs> No. Actually, no, let's be honest here for a quick second, gamer. He's the one who saved Xbox, okay? He's the reason why Xbox is still around today, okay? No, the person that you're thinking of that really damaged the Xbox brand is this guy. Fortunately, we have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. Right. So stick with 360, that's your message if you don't, well, you don't like it? Well, if, if you have zero access yeah. to the internet, that is an offline <laughs> device. I yeah. mean, seriously, when I yeah. read the blogs and thought about who's really the most impacted, there was a person who said, hey, I'm on a nuclear sub, right. and I don't even know what it means to be on a nuclear sub, but I've got to right. imagine that it's not easy to get an internet connection. And ever since that damage was done to the brand by Don Matrick right there, fucking Phil Spencer has done some fantastic job. You know, instead of just making exclusives the number one priority of the console, he decided to branch out, spread the exclusives everywhere, make Xbox bigger than what it's supposed to be. But then again, I'm not a fanboy that likes to go after CEOs over the fact that they put video games on a PC and really over Quantum Break 2. You went after Phil Spencer with fucking Quantum Break. Oh God, these fanboys never really do change, don't they? They just get older, but they get dumber. Because absolutely, Phil Spencer is just destroying Xbox. Jesus Christ, we get it. <laughs> well, I can understand if you're like a fanboy that only cares about exclusives and a piece of plastic that's just a downgraded, well, PC, then yeah, I could see how you're very limited in your options of trash talking the uh, opposing plastic that's just a downgraded plastic in a different color. I, I can understand that, but then again, I'm not part of that hive mind. But because they're cheering a company rather than what's best for gaming. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Go on. But again, like this guy is a known liar. He sat there on television when they asked him about games coming to PlayStation 5 and they asked specifically about Indiana Jones and Starfield and he said no. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Can we say if either of those titles are Starfield or Indiana Jones? They are not Starfield or Indiana Jones. Phil Spencer directly didn't say they were off the table. 
He didn't say it in this interview at all. He never said that they were never going to go to PlayStation, okay? They never said that. That's what you fuckers didn't catch on to. It really was never off the table. Do you think for even for a fucking minute that was never going to go to PlayStation after they saw the success with Sea of Thieves and the many other games, especially with Hi-Fi Rush and the other games, Grounded? You really think they were going to port games to PlayStation, even though this has been their M.O., for years. I, I'm sorry, but I don't think I have the listening problem. I think it's you fanboys that have the listening problem here. He wasn't talking about, he, he meant the, the initial four. But he also said that they were going to learn from this process. But from the looks of it, the way that it would take to port these games over, they had to have started porting them right around this time. Oh, no, no, that was another guy. His name was Shit Sherlock. First name, no. Bruh, come on, really? It wasn't that obvious? Like, really you, you, oh my god i thought fanboys fucking iqs could not drop any lower than it already has but god once you see a crap gamer video you you are no you are in for a treat uh my xbox confirmed machine games indiana jones title will be coming to sony's console early next year after its initial release on xbox even though i would really like it come day and date um it's good this is a good step for gamers all in general even though he's completely against this id and he's a bit of a hypocrite from what he said earlier this is good for all gamers and the company as a whole that want to keep growing and all that type of stuff it's a win-win for everybody in this situation also i'm still on this little quote from gamestop power to the player this sounds good and people go oh well that's good xbox console sales are flatline they're doa what he's talking about is there's a large contingent of player base more people probably playing on xbox one than there are on xbox series x and s you know what i really don't blame those people for doing that to be honest because this current gen absolutely just sucks with their exclusives there is like zero reason to upgrade this generation like at all there's 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 zero reasons and you know what those people that stayed on the xbox one and the ps4 are very smart to stay on the previous gen because they got all the third party support there that they need because let's be honest this generation of exclusives have been very very poor and you know what those people that are on previous gen come to pc once they stop supporting the previous gen just come to pc you'll see the glorious master pc race and what we have to offer for you it will offer you so much more it'll offer you all these people's exclusive upfront for you guys to enjoy and the previous titles that you guys had okay yes it's a little more expensive than the short come but in the long run you'll be saving a lot more money especially when you're buying membership and overpriced video games not to mention that you have a better chance of holding on your preserved games that you care about for example i regret not getting a physical di uh, condition well not condition but a physical version of transformers fall of cybertron so yeah just save up your guys's money come to pc and come enjoy the glorious fucking gaming master race well i should really say that because i really do piss people off with that but again it is truly fun on pc and you guys really should come like i don't trust microsoft i think you know microsoft is a company that realistically um, is full of itself and they don't care about gamers in any way shape or form nah really that's that's the thought that's coming out of your head right now you you really think they don't care about their own consumer base of course they don't give a shit about us gamer they only care about the fucking green that's in our pockets right now that's all they care about you know i almost gave up on gaming back in like 2014 when the first xbox one came out i almost gave up and said screw it i'm just gonna move on with my life i'm gonna start investing into my life you know start you know going different avenues but you know what i switched to pc and oh boy i've been having fun ever since uh in the future how can they uh be this stupid uh, you know honestly and people go well they'll recover from this well obviously the exclusive battle is not working anymore so you know what they decided to do they decided to well hmm, let's think about this they decided to buy activision they decided to buy Thesda and buy a couple more companies to help expand the xbox brand not the console the brand okay because they want to stay alive and keep their company running so instead of just fighting the inevitable battle that they're going to lose with the console wars that what you fanboys call 
they decided to expand their horizon and extend to a higher plane than what fucking PlayStation and Nintendo staying out. Because let's be honest here, there we've already hit the market top with uh, with the exclusive fucking tactic, haven't we? Uh, because Microsoft promised that the Bethesda deal was to get exclusive games where Game Pass exists. <laughs> Wrong. When we acquired ZeniMax, one of the impetus for that is that Sony had done a deal for Deathloop and Ghostwire to pay Bethesda to not ship those games on Xbox, Spencer said at the trial. So the discussion about Starfield when we heard that Starfield was potentially also going to end up skipping Xbox, we can't be in a position as a third place console where we fall further behind on our content ownership, so we had to secure content to remain vi viable in the business. Nice try. Do a little better next time if you're going to make up false information. Please, try again. Game Pass is like this big deal. Like that's the, that's the reason to get an Xbox. But to me, a rental service is 100% not a reason to buy an Xbox. Why not? You could go buy the Series S right now for about 300 and usually around Christmas time or Black Friday, you could pick it up for 230 or 250 and have easy like access to current gen titles and purchase Game Pass to access, you know, all the fucking exclusives that Xbox has and you don't have to pay like 70, 60 dollars every single time you want to play the games and sometimes there are third party games that come into the service, you're like, wow, I get to play like Stardew and the many other third party games which I can't remember on the top of my head right now or you could just do this like man I don't want to just, just sit in the fucking chair all day and just hurt my back even more you know it's been a long day at work you know what let me go lay down in my bed and relax let me grab my phone and play some video games through the Xbox cloud service through Xbox game pass do you people not realize that they are making their moves through the market right now no because it's about the exclusive in a piece of plastic that's colored green or blue. What passes as a man today? Christ on a cross. Microsoft has already pretty much killed competition because Sony does not feel that there's any competition. Why would Sony feel any competition or any threat from Microsoft when Microsoft is putting their big games on PlayStation? Oh, come on! They don't see Microsoft or Xbox in this situation as a threat. Are you sure about that? Do you remember what Jim Ryan did about, oh, I don't know, maybe about two years ago from right now? Do you remember he uh, got on a jet and decided to go to regulators in different countries to block the acquisition of Activision? Oh, and let's not even talk about during the FTC fucking meeting too. Jim Ryan blatantly came out and said that he wanted that he wanted the fucking Activision Blizzard deal blocked so he doesn't learn, you know, lose the exclusivity that he had with Activision. You know, all that delicious money that they're losing. Yeah, well, bit of a spoiler now. Now they're paying all that money to fucking Xbox now. If that's not a fucking clear indication that Xbox is technically a threat right now, I don't know what is. Oh, and Jim Ryan, the same person. Yeah, that same person that didn't want to sign a contract with Microsoft in order to keep Call of Duty on their platform, which is absolutely ridiculous to take it even off of the PlayStation platform in the first place. But you know what Phil Spencer did? Made Jim Ryan bend the knee. To make him sign the contract and got a worse a worser deal out of the whole situation so please tell me yet again how microsoft slash xbox in this situation is not a threat to fucking playstation please, please i really want to know how they are not a threat oh because they don't have exclusives on their platform anymore they you know they're catering to pc so it's playstation remember that remember what's going day and date on fucking pc now and xbox fans hey I feel for you, right? Because we're the ones that are beta testing these games for PlayStation. Yeah, uh, hey, uh, crap gamer, bit of a spoiler, you've been testing games ever since Quantum Break. There has been no difference ever since. Actually, there has been a difference. Just the velocity and quantity of games coming to PC that are supposedly exclusive to the consoles have been more rapid now. And you know what? Good. I'm glad more games are going to different consoles so more people can actually have more freedom to play the games that they want instead of spending another 500 fucking dollars just to play one little game. You finally have a haptic controller so you can catch up to what Nintendo and Sony are doing, um, you know, and we get neither of those things. What do we get? 
they half-ass it with an Xbox Series X. Ooh, nobody gives a shit! As fans and players of games, we just have to anticipate there's going to be more change and how some of the more traditional ways that games were built and distributed, that's going to change for all of us. But the end result needs to be better games that more people can play. If we're not focused on that, we're focused on the wrong thing. So once again, Phil Spencer is basically just confirming what we all kind of already knew, which was that there's no such thing as an Xbox exclusive. You know, they don't list anything as exclusive. Oh, now you're finally figuring out that the age of exclusivity is starting to die. Did you even start like figuring that out right now? Or like, are you kidding me right now? How long did it took you probably like 10 years to figure that out? And that's the sad part. Honestly, you could not even see it coming when Quantum Break came to PC and that their focus started to be more on Game Pass. Uh, the normal people like me. Who would pick up a new Xbox as well as a new PlayStation? We would say, okay, well, uh, we're, we're going to pick up a new Xbox and a new PlayStation for the exclusives for the different, you know, things that they offer. Uh, now, here comes the tricky part because they're going to offer the same thing. Like, you can buy a PlayStation and you're going to be able to play, um, you know, all the PlayStation exclusives and the Xbox exclusives, right? Or better yet, just as a heads up too, and I'm gonna say this right now, play on whatever the fuck you feel like, console, PC, whatever, handheld, whatever the fuck you wanna play on, you play on, power to the fucking gamer. But you know what though? If I was to say, you know, the best bang for your buck that you could do in this situation is to switch to PC. PCs last a lot longer than consoles, gamers are a hell of a lot cheaper over here, not to mention that, uh, uh, Steam's refund policy is a thousand times better than what Xbox and PlayStation and for God's sakes Nintendo's fucking refund policy is a thousand times better over here. You could play an hour on a game say I don't like it and just go get a refund. And let me just explain this real quickly. Currently in the computer that I use to edit my videos and do a little gaming on here. Yeah, that currently right now has a 2060 Ti in it right now. That came out in 2018. Currently, I am playing Sun Wukong on there right now. The footage, the game footage you're seeing right now is running on this PC. Perfectly fine. No cut marks or anything. Nothing. Nothing is happening at all. It's running perfectly fine. And mind you, we just barely got out of like, what, the last gen going into, what, the fourth year of this gen? And I'm not even considering up upgrading at all. And, it's, and the games are running perfectly fine on my PC. Yeah, yeah, guess what? I'm still not upgrading till the next next gen, okay? You want to know why? Because it's not worth it. My games run perfectly fucking fine, above 60 frames actually. That might, yeah, mind you, mine is running over over 60 frames right now. And mind you, this is in my fucking gaming PC where I do hardcore gaming. My hardcore gaming PC is in my next room. And spoiler alert, and this is gonna fucking blow your minds too, just the PC by itself, no monitors, the mouses, the keyboards, you know, the many other stuff, just those two alone costed me three thousand fucking dollars, okay? Because you wanna know how I did it proficiently like that? It's because I got the parts used. But anyway, fam, that's enough of my psycho ramblings about PC. If you guys truly did enjoy this type of content, please leave a like and comment in the comment section. It's always a pleasure to talk to you guys. And if you truly want more of my content and enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to make it to 10K by the end of this year. And hey, you know what? I'll definitely have more content coming for you guys. But anyway, fam, besides all that mess, hopefully you did enjoy the content. And I will see you guys in the next video next stream not too sure actually right now i should be uh i should be streaming concord right now so why don't you come join me on the stream and uh come and act or interact with me and have some fun but anyway besides that fam i'll see you in the next one later